Hi guys, this is Wences from Below the Radar Above the System and now I want to talk to you about um, struggle and the beauty of it and um, how very often exactly this understanding is the reason why we're not happy with our lives, why we are so much um, moping around and concerned with our own pain and all those things that actually keep us from being happy and being productive and doing something. So um, we are an I dominant if you're an INFJ like me and uh, this means that in a lot of ways we think about the big picture and the big picture without having like really a realistic view of what's happening now, what's good for me now and so on. So if we don't pay too much attention and we kind of get in those negative spirals, we kind of start thinking about this is all meaningless there's no point to this. The only reason why people like me is when I do something for them or, um, you know, there's always some kind of condition. There's no like real value of me in general because nobody's going to like me just for being myself or that you think there's no real reason for me to do anything because nothing's going to uh, come out of it. There's, you know, in the end I'm going to die and uh, whatever kind of impact I made on some people, it doesn't you know, it's not going to change like the world, it's not going to change everything and it's not, you know, you kind of like make yourself really small in this whole understanding and then you kind of lose meaning and you lose under like why you should do something and so on and this is why we kind of tend to be rather just contemplative and not really do stuff, especially because we can take it, you know, there's, there's a... Uh, a lot of people who might get into those situations um, start doing things much earlier because they they are too too much too sensitive for that. They can't go that deep without being miserable. We can. So this kind of makes us want to go that far um, to understand where our limits lay. Because I've talked about it before that our brain is not made to strive for happiness. Our brain is made to strive away from danger and when I say away from danger it means that you kind of like put yourself in dangerous situations and then and then kind of like through managing those you feel alive as in you go like really really deep into this contemplative mode as in it's really hard for you to survive somehow um, because there's no feedback you get there's no um, no love in that way you get but you kind of like see your purpose in that you see your purpose as in I'm gonna suffer as much as I can in that respect and I'm gonna do something good for people as for example um, you know not not tell people what they want to what they don't want to hear and so on make them feel good through you know understanding what they who they are and then giving them what they want through FE and this has been in a lot of ways the struggle that we we've like been drawn towards and we have to understand that this is not healthy it's not healthy in that regard and I like looking at other personality types when I talk about these things specifically because it's difficult sometimes to understand those things when it really affects yourself but if you look at others and you kind of can make a um, um, I don't, I don't know reference point or you can see how it applies to their life and and how how it affects their their system you kind of it's much easier to apply it to yourself so a lot of ESTPs I know um, kind of live on the limit as in they barely survive they always get into situations where they don't make life easy for themselves it's always difficult there's always some kind of um, you know they barely survive but they always make it and that makes them feel like superman like i remember um i remember my uh my ex-boyfriend he's like you don't know what i'm going through and like sometimes i feel like superman there's like so much bullshit i have to um i have to take care of and this and that and um that's what they live for normally they live for this and and this danger uh, that they're feeling through going really really deep into that first function and kind of like just really not thinking about um, long-term consequences so 
uh, you know, they, they want to have their, you know, they want to be liked, they want to be respected, so they kind of like lash out at everybody and get into difficult situations and not understanding that, you know, you should delay that instant gratification and, uh, and, and find your pain or your struggle somewhere else. And for us, yeah, as I said, this is, we have to accept, okay, this is a struggle we, we tend to go towards. This is what makes us feel we're alive and it's really difficult to have a life where struggle doesn't exist. And, um, but there's, there are limits to that and there are different ways of struggle. And just because, let's say, let's say there's a spectrum of 0 to 100 and NI and let's say an ENFJ can go into NI for, I don't know, let's say 60% and uh, an ESTP can go into NI 30% and we can go there, you know, let's say 90%. Just, just like, um, just as an example. So. We always want to go strive towards those 90% and think like um, and make and that will make us feel alive when actually and but there are limits to that when we do that we're not healthy because NI is really important to us it's who we are and we shouldn't really bring that part of us that much into danger because it makes us not happy it doesn't make us productive and contemplation is not uh, you know it's not that healthy like you you kind of can think oh, okay through that through contemplating through understanding somebody that well I can really give them what they want and I can make them happy not understanding that actually you can make a much bigger impact if you don't go that deep into NI another problem why we want to go that deep into NI is because we want other people to like us for that because this is who we are and we want people to like us for how far we can go that road but once you make that switch, understanding that first off, there are limits to this. You can you, you push yourself so far into your first function until it really brings you so much pain that you need to stop. Or hopefully by watching videos like this, by reading, you can do it even earlier. So instead of like really absorbing more and more and more of others, um, we have to understand at first, we are a human. And when I say we're human, I mean we're mammals. I mean we're uh, we're made to kind of like be active and do stuff because this is like I don't care how your brain works. In the end, you're still uh, you know a being with with um, biological needs, and these biological needs um, also mean like you have to kind of move and 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 do stuff for other people. Let's say who have a higher SE they they need to have like more uh, workouts and do those things they're just physical needs and, and also mental needs that you have to be aware of you are not above everybody you have an ability to go and I rather far but you don't have an ability to go into SI that far for example which naturally happens when you go too much into that NI when you go too much into that negative into that introverted side all your introverted functions are being challenged and there's just so much you can do so instead of like kind of going into 90% of NI you can kind of go um, let's say 60% into FE or you know and 30% into um, TI like you can you can do those things and and you can do them by exactly as I said you understand and I is not the way you have to kind of see okay this is where my limits lay when I keep doing this I'm not happy I'm not happy and then the point of self-love comes into play because self-love means you don't need somebody to recognize how developed your NI is how well you can understand others how well you can really absorb that because it makes you unhappy and it's a natural thing that happens you can I've seen it with everybody I've, I've seen it with everybody I've seen INFPs going way too far into FI because they want to be uh, you know liked for this and I've seen ENFJs going way too far into their FE as in controlling their emotions and, and creating some kind of emotions that are not you know they're just you know forceful and dramatic and and 
you know not understanding that first of people cannot tolerate that much as you can so of course people are not gonna you know go that far with you and second of all that you kind of need to understand that this is not something that is gonna really make the biggest impact and make your life the best so once you understand that and you understand that you don't have to prove to anybody how deep your NI is you don't have to prove to anybody that you're smart that you're wise that you can understand all those things you can learn you can um, search for your struggle somewhere else and you can search for that struggle through pushing your FE and pushing your TI meaning coming back to the first video I talked about mommy uh, have a struggle as in find a task where you can really push your TI boundaries as in um, having a system making some kind of um, uh, how's it called anti-emotional um, contribution for example let's talk about this these videos I made um, yes of course I, I read a lot and I pick up a lot of um, information I do and so on but this is not what this TI is really about. This TI challenge is about not caring what other people think. Because when I started this and looking at my friends and, and, and people I know, this is not something that I thought people are going to look at and say, Oh, you're so cool. You're so great. No, I thought people are going to think I'm weird. I think I thought people are going to think um, uh, she's crazy or who cares about these things what is she talking about because that's how most of the people talked about when I told them about this before I started this and I saw how many people are actually benefiting from that so there's a challenge in creating something and not caring about external gratification you know like really not caring about it and, and not caring that you might come off as something that is not considered FE optimal which is you know being for example as a woman being um, being really giving and being accepting and not having a mind on my own and 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 kind of like making others feel good or for men sometimes it, it is a lot about this you know that you have to normally in society you can you have to be considered strong and and you know having the one who leads the way and shows everybody where the the thing is gone so if you challenge yourself in one area where you can kind of like stay away from all those emotional things and those things that make you kind of um, that make you feel good in that regard but rather care about the long-term effect you're you're bringing with that you're challenging your ti meaning you have a struggle there and at the same time you can also um push your fe and also pushing your fe as in ni plus fe which means you have kind of a vision and then you push yourself to put it out there knowing that people it might be too much for people it might be too much for people it might be um people are not going to understand it people are going to be bothered by it because niti is rather you know you don't care about anybody and you kind of stay in your own world and you do your own thing but um nife is more invasive it is it is because there you know you affect people much more with that naturally by the way you talk by the way you give yourself by the way you allow yourself um for example for the longest i didn't allow myself to kind of like spend my money to buy me nice clothes to you know put out music all the time and and so on because these are all things that kind of have an impact on other people in that fi matter um i create like uh a world i create um just kind of like emotions and and, and the atmosphere or kind of like a uh yeah like a painting i do all of this and i i it might be too much for people it is there are probably people who are bothered by it there definitely is because I know I know for a fact my best friend she is an INFP and like she doesn't follow my Facebook like I post so many like songs constantly and she like she was one of the first people when I started putting out that there's so much stuff that like just like didn't like she just well I don't even know how the English words but she just stopped following me in that regard 
and it didn't mean anything it wasn't like a bad thing because I was actually pushing myself to create that and not really caring how this is gonna affect people how it's not gonna affect people but just doing that because it's a relief for me it's something I need to do I need to put my all my visions in out there and I do it through emotions and and it's something I do which is not which is separate from what I do when I'm like um, you know with with my close ones and so on but even there like even with my close friends and my family there are things I, I I have to do like knowing okay people are gonna like me less in the first moment people are gonna stay away they're gonna shy away I might be too much for them but this is something I have to deal with maybe I'll find people who can take it um, most of my friends can take more than I actually um, Put out there because normally since I was so concerned with going and I that far that I wasn't like I wasn't saying anything I wanted I didn't care what movie you watched I didn't care where we went and so on so by you changing of course in the first time it's gonna affect people in a weird way they're not gonna understand it they might be um, irritated by it but they will get used to it and you will just become more normal in that regard you will become more of yes there are also rules that you have to um have to play by you know towards the people around if you want to be around me and one of those rules is letting me express myself in this way yes it might bother people but that's the price they have to pay and you have to be willing to um to kind of like go and take that struggle and go and, and and really do something because it's hard it's challenging every single time because those feelings of oh what are people gonna think how is this gonna affect them somebody's gonna feel bad about themselves when I'm so proud of myself you know it gets better but it is difficult in the beginning so this is a struggle and by doing this we kind of have a constant struggle in our lives in a different field than and I but we can handle that struggle and only when you have struggle and then success it really means something to you otherwise it's just you know like it doesn't mean anything we go into this ni and we go there and it kind of like there's never really a struggle we want more and more and more because there there's no satisfaction in it because we're so good at it so you have to kind of like do those other things and and really through that you can impact people because you know some people are really gonna see oh okay she's really um, putting out an emotional atmosphere um, they people really get affected by it and so on and this can be a good thing for people and it is in many ways because everyone can decide you know what they're gonna listen to and who they're gonna care about and but you it's your task to kind of like really put it out there we said it there's this thing if they don't they don't see it that's on them if I don't bring it that's on me because you were born the way you are for a specific reason and and there's a way you see the world and you should kind of like put it out there and you can put it out there through your FE and your TI and if you do it kind of like a little separately um, it gives you a great benefit and a great rounded life that brings you happiness because Yes, you can think about, okay, my life doesn't matter and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't get me anywhere. But if you're not intending to kill yourself, which, of course, I hope you don't. But if you don't, like, this is, because we've all had, not probably all, but a lot of us have, you know, thoughts about this. If you don't have an, uh, if you're not going to go there, then why not actually use that life and be happy and make a positive impact, you know? There's no reason to mope around and be concerned with our own misery when there are people who have it much worse. And it's just a matter of how you perceive the world. Because trust me, I've been in places mentally which have been complete hell. And I needed to learn that I need to stop myself before I go there. So remember that. There's beauty in the struggle, but you have to understand where you put that struggle into. In parts like your first function, it probably isn't the right way because nobody can match you in that regard anyways. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.